Long time no see. I know, right? <laughs> How you feeling? Great. Yeah. Ready to ready to get things going? Are we? Ready to get things going? For sure, ready to get things going. Uh, the vibe is good around here. You know, excited is what we have. You know, I've been here from September, so you know what we've been doing and stuff for the team and uh, playing pickup. You know, like where where we at? And I uh, just can't wait for the team to come What stands out in those kind of weeks that you guys have had from get-togethers and scrimmages you guys have been able to do on your own? Everybody competing. That's been the biggest part. Everybody competing, get after each other. And uh, you know, Luke and his staff. That he brought, you know, and the culture, just everything has changed. And it's a good vibe, man, going to training camp and uh, everybody feel comfortable. And I uh, just, like I say, can't wait to get Luke everything wants, rolling. Sorry, Luke wants to shoot more threes. How do you feel about that? <laughs> you, already know, you already know how I feel about that. That's no question. When everyone wants me to shoot, I'll be able to shoot as much as they want me to. I just got to make it. You think you can do more than last year? Me. What I mean? You think you can do more than last year? That was a lot. What, shoot more? Mm -hmm. I mean, I gotta get open, uh, but my confidence is high, man. And I, you know, wherever opportunity presents to me, I'm gonna take advantage of it, of course. And, uh, you know, it's, it's easy, man. He just comes in and he has that instant connection. And he's he's played before, so he knows like to, that player player relationship. So he's a coach, so he knows what how to relate to us, and that's big coming come from him. Workout videos that have been posted on Twitter and social media. I mean, you were after it during the summer. You watch workout videos? I watch them all, man. <laughs> yeah, you look good. I'm, I'm okay, you know, just trying to keep my body in shape and uh, get ready for the season. Big season ahead. Buddy, as you, as you enter a training camp, it was here, we talked just a couple of weeks ago about things that were going on back in the Bahamas. How, how has that uh, balance been for you just to focus now on basketball as it shifts completely? You know, it's been a good balance. You know, of course, you can think of what's up and trying to help the country out. You know, my sister does. I was able to distribute stuff yesterday. But you know, it's basketball, man. Like I said, when I come out here, that's where I'm at. This is my element. I and mean, that's where I'm most um, I'm a stress reliever and everything. That's where I feel comfortable at. So uh, I love being on here. This is my element. I love it. You, you mentioned a different vibe this year. What's, what's been the biggest change in the vibe just around here? I just mean that everybody's more happy. Everybody's more spirit is upbeat. You know, everybody sends the direction we need to head to. You know, we have players, vets that of being in the playoffs, you know, and uh, we've been preaching playoffs for the past 14 years, and, uh, you know, just the vibe of just, like, trying to move in the right direction, you know, just the coaches and everything, everybody's just different, and it's, it's, it's good. It's a good feeling. Well, this you were so down after that last Portland game because you were just like, you didn't want to hear about we, the 12 game improvement. You're like, we missed the playoffs. Right. Just what, are you, what is your approach to that this year, and will the playoffs be the, the determiner of the success for this team? For sure. I mean, like, I would like to think that, you know, what do you play for? You play just to play the regular season, you, know, you play to play in the postseason. That's like everybody's goal, and, you know, and I haven't been in the postseason yet since I've been in the NBA, and that's the biggest jump I need to improve on is how to close out the game better, how to cover the little things. You know, I feel like Luke and the staff from day one, watching film, the stuff I need to get better at, they, you know, they flew to Dallas and the US and Dallas, and they're watching film and working out with me, you know, this is where we need to be good and where I need to be better at, where we can make that. Four, like five points extra or on defense where I could like you know save for possession or two and uh, where somebody even score and cost them in the game. So something like that. De'Aaron talked about how putting the ball to basket was not the issue for this team last year. No. How do you make that emphasis on defense and, and get where you need to be on defense? You know just go out there and just having the will to do it and wanting to do it each and every night and just trying to you know it's the NBA everybody's tough to guard but trying to limit as much touches and limit as wide open shots and like easy opportunity for teams and just collectively communicate together as a group and just learn from guys like Luke and the vets that, were, that had that experience and just trust what we have going on. Can you talk about how the Kobe workout came to be and just kind of what that experience was like? Oh, it was, that was really great. You know, you know, Fox was down there too and, uh, you know, Kobe, of course, you know, I'm a Kobe guy, so where everything he says, I think is uh, true no matter what, but I uh, know. <laughs> But that's just being a young kid as a Kobe fan. But you no, know, whatever he taught us at the camp, you know, and he had great players around us, and Phil Handy was the guy that's directing stuff. I think mean, it was great for us and teach us how to guard the post, every little thing, how to read defenses better, and uh, trying to find ways to, you know, get your teammates open and uh, just communicate with your teammates better. And, uh, you know, because you say a lot of guys just form different from, so just knowing your teammates better and just there's a whole in depth stuff that. No, and you can think on a higher level of basketball. Sorry. I heard I heard there was some people that were turned away at the door. Mm -hmm. Some players were turned away at the door. Oh, I, I know that. Yeah. I, I just know I wasn't turned away. Yeah, you got you. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to you to see people? Come Say it again. Out? What does it mean to you that so many people have come out to support Bahamas? 
Oh, it's, it means a lot, you know. It just shows the, the awareness of me. Everybody been spreading around, you know. And what have happened was this is devastated, devastation because of and nobody's. We're not used to seeing a heart category five coming to hit the Bahamas, you know. So, you know, I appreciate everybody who reached out and you know whether it's a thank, uh, praying for your family or thinking of your family or donating or whatever support they've done. You know, a lot of people have did a lot, and I think the Kings have a lot. You know, Sacramento Kings have put a lot of hands on in that too. So. I just, just you know, thank thankful for everybody that is, you know, being a part of that that situation I had going on. Now you're a big shoe guy. What did you think about De'Aaron's Air Max shoe? And did he get make sure you got a pair of them? No, he didn't make me. I'm off him now. He didn't. He didn't let me get one, so I'm not talking to him right now. <laughs> did you like the shoe though? When you oh, yeah, fire. The shoe was fire, but I wanted one. He didn't give me one. I couldn't get one. I still don't have one today, and I'm not gonna pay for one. <laughs> All right. Thanks.